And yeah, where can I start from? It's, it's <laughs> like a, right now the ecosystem for front end is uh, growing and evolving so fast as all of us knows. But uh, my first advice about front end is learn how to write JavaScript. That's it, right? Everyone knows, everyone thinks that he knows how to write JavaScript. I still think that I know how to write JavaScript, but I don't, right? No one knows. Um, so this is the first advice, is to deep dive into the core of the JavaScript itself. And don't focus on CSS and HTML, right? Because we have a misconception in some Middle Eastern company that front-end development is a UI development, and these are two different things. UI, develop, UI development can be done by a designer, um, and like an experienced designer can do front-end uh, UI development, but front-end development is kind of real development that you do, that you deal with APIs, uh, understanding RESTful APIs, understanding the HTTP um, responses and stuff like this. It goes beyond uh, designing and um, developing the UI. Mm -hmm. um, it's a web app. Yes, it's a web app, exactly. So fortunately, I prepared for this question a couple of things, but it's in, in my laptop, and <laughs> we are streaming from this laptop. But I have a list of skills and stuff in the technical um, side that you guys need to, uh, to ma master in order first to pass the interviews and in order to pass the probation period in your company and then shine afterwards. Um, if you give me one second, I just can open it. Go ahead. Sorry. I just send it here to myself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So I have it here. So as, as, I, as I told you, um, JavaScript is very, very important. If you have, uh, if, you, if you are experienced in ES6, this is a big plus. And also one thing in, in front-end development is uh, critical path rendering. Um, I believe most of the front-end developers knows about uh, critical path uh, rendering, but um, you have to be prepared for this. You have to to be able to answer a question, which one is a blocking, which one is not, like CSS is blocking or not, JavaScript files are blocking or not, these kind of questions. Um, basic or medium Node.js knowledge, like for example, you need to deal with authentication as a front-end developer, not a, as a back-end developer, and also package management and bundles, stuff like this. Right now we have Rollup, we have Webpack, we have a lot of uh, bundlers that helps you to ship your application you might need to learn at least one of them uh, and understand um, your needs and which one fits in your needs. Um, going further into the testing. I, any one of us can talk about testing for years, but please, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, please, 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 please give a very, very uh, careful and very, very much attention to the testing, specifically Unit and functional testing, integration test and end-to-end -end test for front-end is super important. Uh, things like Docker, right now is a requirement, at least for my, for my company. As a front-end developer, I have to use Docker. I have to ship my application from end-to-end, -end, at the end. Um, functional programming is so trending. If you know some functional programming, this will help you. Um, uh, help um, <coughs> improve your profile. Uh, by functional programming, we are talking about simple functional programming, not really, really functional programming, Haskell or something like this. I try to be fast, but these are the things that I, yeah, this is the thing that I, I personally touch in my daily work. Um, reactive programming is a big, big plus. If you know RxJS, it's very uh, good. You can use RxJS with Angular or, Angular or React or even Vue.js. It's just a... Um, uh, try to do pair programming a lot with your pairs because it is required here in Germany to explain and express your ideas and to do pair programming with your colleagues. Uh, maybe in your native language, you, in, your, in your home country, you can talk with your native language, but you have to practice how to talk to people with different culture and try to um, ship or deliver the, uh, the, the idea that you have 
do that through code or through just uh, articulating your uh, your idea. Static code analysis. Have a look at Eastland, Britier. These things I've never touched it before I come to Germany, and then I figured out that it's super super important and it helped a lot um, in standardizing the way the team writes code. Um, GraphQL is plus. Um, server side rendering is a plus also if you know about it. And uh, at the end, monitoring and communication skills. Communication skills, you have to focus on communication skills and maybe we can take another question regarding this. Uh, try to practice uh, fidelity for front-end development, sometimes for algorithms, simple algorithms and stuff like this. This will also help you to, uh, uh, to reach the level of mm -hmm. passing the interviews. Uh, yeah. Good, so thank you. It took so much time. Yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs>